guys. So I've been saying I was going to do a walkthrough of my notebook organisation Filofax Midori system uh, for a while. Um, I finally got it, I think, to the stage where I really like how it's working. So I thought today would be an excellent opportunity to just give you a brief overview of how it works <clears throat> and what I'm doing with each notebook. And then what I'll do is I'll put up individual note uh, videos about the notebooks and how they're each individually set up uh, because I have four system uh, no I have one system four notebooks um, but they're all very specific um, purposes uh, and half of them are for the business and half of them are for just me because something I've always struggled with is splitting out personal and work uh, because, you know, I work from home, I my studio lounge, I, I have a studio lounge again now, um, where, you know, half of the room is for chilling and watching TV and the other half is for me doing work. Um, and sometimes I, I will work in my lounge and sometimes I end up playing on the computer because I'm playing a video game or something. So it all gets a little bit fuzzy and before you know it, you're getting up, first thing in the morning, coming into the lounge with your coffee, you sit down at the desk and you don't move again until two o'clock in the morning. Or, you know, that's how it's working for me. And, and I don't like that. I want to be able to break it up and I need to be able to schedule my time during the day. So, uh, speaking of scheduling, let's start with the, the brains of the operation, okay? Um, the brains of the operation is my main personal file effects. Uh, this is a Filofax Chino. It's um, brushed cotton material in fawn. Uh, I'm not a brown person. I do not like brown, as you know. Um, but, you know, uh, I was given this by my mum. It was brand new. She'd never used it. <clears throat> All she'd done was taken out the inserts because she wanted the calendar. Uh, she decided she didn't like the setup of this. Um, and I, you know, I love the feel of it, I love the, I love everything about it, except that it's brown. So I call it fawn, <laughs> and that doesn't sound like brown. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe I can dye it a different colour or something. I might, I might, I'm tempted to do that at some point, you know, just see if it works. Um, as you can see, I've stuck a little doohickey on the front here. I have no problem with customising my non-leather items. Okay, this is a, it's material, so I just hot glued my little sugar hiccup on the front here um, because she's kind of, she's kind of like my inner child. <laughs> she's like that, yeah. Piratey kind of, witchy kind of, gothy kind of weirdo person. Yeah, that's her. Um, so she's just kind of, you know... It's just there because I like it basically. I don't have any problem with customising the outside like I say. Um, the Chino layout um, is a front pocket which is meshed and gusseted so it's actually really easy to get into and you can see through it. Uh, I'll go into this in more detail when I do this actual video for this one. Um, and at the back it's got a full length secretary pocket for either a notepad or as you can see I've got a book in here um, and credit cards and a pen loop and it's uh, semi-elastic so there's elastic in there so you can fit all sorts of pens in there I haven't found a pen that doesn't fit yet uh, it's got a standard closure with a brass doohickey with the Filofax Chino logo uh, and the Filofax Chino branding is on there on a neat little leather doohickey isn't that cool? I love that. Uh, so this is my everyday organisation. Uh, like I say, I'll go into this in more detail, um, but to give you a quick overview, that's what it looks like on a daily basis. And this is my to-do list, my appointments, my schedule. Um, I put, like my flatmate works shifts, so I put her shifts up at the top here, so I know when I can safely film that she'll be out of the house and won't be making a noise. I don't, she works really long hours, like sometimes she'll cut, leave the house at seven, seven in the morning and she won't be back till 11 at night. Uh, and she's working the whole time. 
uh, and she's a carer so it's not like she's just sitting at an office desk she's she's on her feet all day she's really busy so I don't like to be filming when she's home because that means that she doesn't have freedom to do what she wants to do so I work around her so if I need to film like she's gone out for the afternoon um, and she won't be back till 10 tonight so I'm doing my filming uh, and that's working really well because it, when she's home I can edit or I can I can draw I can journal I can video stuff for classes that doesn't need me to talk over the top uh, and then while she's out I can pop on the camera and get on with what I need to do so that is working really well and she's very good about letting me know when she's going to be in every Sunday night she puts up a her, her shifts so that Monday morning when I do my planning I can work out what I'm going to do for the week um, I just a quick mention I, you can see I've got colored stuff going on here I have a very very simple color coding system I cannot be bothered with 2,000 different pens for different things I write with whatever black or blue pen I happen to have in my hand at the time sometimes I write in pencil sometimes I even write in red it doesn't matter to me because what I do then is I go over it you can see there with um, the corresponding um, highlighter so highlighting um, means that it's allocated to a certain area so for instance blue is admin pink is um, vlogs and blogs um, orange is class stuff purple is personal stuff blue this is a blue sticky note so it's got to be admin so I can see at a glance what my day is like so for instance Monday it was all about admin and classes and the most important thing was an admin thing uh, today it's all about vlogging so I'm sitting here doing my vlogs because my flatmate's gone out and I've also got some admin to do and I've got a personal thing later so it's really easy to see what's going on it's almost like the chronodex system actually but in a, a linear format which works for me I will go into this in more detail in the next video <clears throat> so that is my what do I have to do today work um, and personal appointments actually because I don't have that many personal appointments I occasionally pop to the doctor or the dentist um, but most things are for work um, or the scheduling or you know working around my flatmates hours all that kind of stuff it all goes in here this is the brains of the operation this is like the shop floor where the magic happens <laughs> okay um, then I have my other file of facts this is my A5 this is Cat's going to jump up and knock the camera over in a minute. This is a Filofax Domino A5 in purple. I'm not sure if it's purple or ultraviolet. Um, there's a difference between the two, but I can't really tell. Um, I would call it purple, but then I've seen other people say that the purple is more pink. So I don't know. Um, I'm not sure which it is. I, oh, the, I don't know if I said this one I got for free. This was my mum's, and all I had to do was sort out the inserts. Um, and this one actually came with a calendar and note paper and I got it for I think I paid £18 plus postage from um, Filofaxi ad spot I bought it of a lovely girl in Scotland called Sharon thank you very much Sharon uh, it's gone to a good home and it's well loved um, this is uh, it's got a, a band set up so it's much easier to stuff it full of things um, and this is my project management file so when I have a really big project that I need to work on um, I put it in here uh, and I organize it it's organized by months so I can organize my month according to what I need to do that month so for instance August is all about sorting out my admin updating my websites um, not not like themes and stuff but just general updates updating information making sure photographs are up to date all that kind of thing um, it's all about um, yeah admin getting rid of spammers all that kind of stuff August is an admin month September is all about sorting out my social networking stuff so I sort out my main project for the month in here and the little book that I have at the back here of this one this is just a, a little I think it's a Marx book it's just a, a little plain 
10 sheet little doohickey that I have hanging around uh, and I've just got this listed I've got it broken up into various sections I've got YouTube um, I've got websites and blogs I've got um, sales stuff all that kind of thing and I just li I literally write down notes of what I think I need to do and then like for instance this month I came along and I said right I need to get some website stuff sorted out what is the most important thing um, and actually I've decided that I've got so much to do on the website I'm going to now allocate that to October uh, and you know occasionally I flick through here and see what I've got to do or what I want to do this is more stuff that I should do or I want to do rather than things I have to do this is stuff I have to do on a daily basis you know this has got to happen um, this is all stuff that I would like to do like setting up a proper proper portfolio on my website um, getting my contact information sorted out getting my um, sales logs up to date all that sort of stuff this is stuff I want to do and I need to do but it doesn't have to happen today and then this is where I organize all that so this is just so that I don't have a whole section in my um, personal file of facts uh, because it was just taking up too much room so I took out my personal stuff and I took out my project stuff and I moved them into other places so this is working very well it's also um, it's all set up with my you probably noticed it's all set up with my work stuff and logos and things it's more professional looking than my personal so if I have to go to a meeting at the gallery or something or go and see a client I can take this with me uh, and it's just as easy it's got all my information in here um, but it's also got I've got a little I've stuck a little thing on the front here with my um, business cards in so that I don't have to open it to actually get a business card out and all that so I'll, again I'll do a video on this um, later in the week to show you exactly what's going on in here um, oh, something else I use that for, I've got plastic wallets in the front and back for incoming and outgoing mail, um, admin mail, like um, bank statements, um, monthly receipt collections that I have to put on the tax return, um, important notices like uh, stuff from the tax office, things like that. Anything to do with the business that's mail coming in that I have to sort out, it goes in there. And then when I go to that to sort out my project management, I'll sort that out. Again, I'll go into that in more detail later. Then I've got my two Midoris, faux Doris actually. Um, I didn't make them myself because I was stingy uh, and didn't want to pay 40 quid. Um, I didn't want to pay 40 quid for a black or a brown one and that's the only options. If they'd had a cherry red, I would so have had a cherry red original, but they didn't have any, so I bought cherry red leather. It's actually showing up darker. It's beautiful. It smells so lovely, and the colour, look at the colour, it almost matches my hair, actually. Look at that. It's my favourite colour, look. Can you see? Oh, I love it. Um, oh, I love these. I just, <laughs> I don't know what it is about them, but I love them. Um, this is my wallet, plain and simple. It's got some notebooks that I use for um, shopping lists and wish lists and running errands and things. Uh, it's got my cards and my, my money in it. So if I'm going out into town, uh, I don't need to take everything with me. I can just take this. Uh, and the best thing about this one, this is the passport size one, and the best thing about this is that my phone, which is, it's always been too big to carry with a, I don't have anything I can show you with. Oh, here you go. Here's what a normal size wallet is sort of like, and you put it together and then you, it, it, it falls apart and it, it slips and it, it, I kept dropping my phone basically, but this one, this fits under this elastic snugly it's exactly the same size as my pocket notebook it's in the elastic so even if I shake it about it doesn't come out too easily I can't just drop it it has to actually be shaken about uh, and I can easily hold this in one hand hold on to my phone hold on to my notebook and it's not going anywhere I love it it's brilliant because it means I can hold this in one hand 
you know and if I'm listening to an audiobook or something I've got my headphones on and everything but it leaves this hand free to do whatever else I need to do so yeah that's really working for me again a video coming on this later on and then I have my Fodori big boy my big beautiful boy I've actually just made one for my sister over in America my adopted sister because she really liked it so I made her one so this is what they look like new and unstuffed this has just got basic three notebooks in um, but my my bad boy is very chunky chunky monkey now this is this has become my travel journal uh, my art journal is huge it's almost a four size it's 10 by 7 or 9 by 7 something like that 10 by 9 maybe I don't know it's huge anyway um, it's almost a four and it's really thick and it's quite heavy um, I love it but it's more of a desk journal so I didn't really want to have yet another journal that I carried around with me so what I've done is I've combined my notebook my written journal and my sketch journal in here um, so this is it's again a three notebook system again there'll be a video on this later uh, and I've basically I've got a sketchbook that I can sketch in I've got a writing journal that I can write in and I've got a moleskin thing that I've cut down at the back which is for general notes because it occurred to me that I'll go through these first two quite quickly so there's no point in putting notes at like the end of the month here because at the end of the month they won't be there anymore and what if I need them next month so this is more for stuff that's ongoing and then these are my sketch journal and my writing journal and this is so much better because you know when I want to go out um, if I'm going out into town or something and I'm you know I'm taking my journal with me it's much easier to take this uh, than it is to cart my big heavy journal around um, and I can just sketch in this or write or you know whatever I feel like doing at the time I can I quite often go to the library and make notes and things so I can do that in here as well I can check my post stuff while I'm there all that sort of stuff it's all in here and this is what I take around with me with almost knocked my coffee over my organizer which I've sewn straps onto now I cut these off an old tote that had a hole in the bottom so I haven't been using it um, but I didn't want to throw it away because it's holding folders and things that don't need to be carried around but I thought well if they don't need to be carried around I don't need the handles so I chopped the handles off that and put it into here and you can see that's much better than the original handles so there's the original handle here and the black one is my new handle so that's much better and what I generally do is I simply pop that in there like that and I this is what I take around the house with me if I'm going you know if I'm going to bed I pop this obviously it fits better <laughs> why won't it fit in there oh I think something's dropped to the bottom and it's getting stuck but this actually fits in that section in the middle there so it's all together it's in that little bag and I can sit in bed and I can journal or I can sketch or whatever I want to do uh, without having to take my big journal around with me almost knocked the coffee over again um, and you know I would be upset if I lost this um, but I would be more upset if I lost this because this has got my artwork in it whereas this is just sketching and notes so if I lost this one or it got ruined or something it's not the end of the world um, it's one piece of leather and three notebooks that I can replace really easily I think it cost me all together it cost me about £15 and the only reason it cost that much was because I bought the actual Midori insert to have a, a zip wallet in there um, everything else I don't think it cost me more than a tenner um, so it's really easy to replace it if anything happens to it it's not the end of the world um, whereas that one I don't really want to lose that one because it's got all sorts of stuff in there um, and speaking of this one this is my art journal proper which you've probably seen uh, this is where I do my proper artwork and stuff 
uh, like this. Um, you'll have seen that on videos and things because I that's what I do my artwork in now. Uh, it also has ideas for paintings and things and um, colour coding, colour palettes for paintings and all sorts of stuff like that. So that's it, that is my entire system. So I've got my project management notebook which I, I've dubbed the upper management because that's where major projects for the month happen. Uh, and I plan them all out in there and I cross them all out and I work out what I need and I have all the paperwork, it's all in that one organized by month. Then I have my day-to-day -day planner. This is my actual planner, um, which is mostly business stuff, but it's also a bit of personal stuff. I don't really have much of a personal life. <laughs> that sounds really sad. I do, but I don't have appointments and things. And, you know, I don't have kids that have to be all over the place or anything like that. So um, I've got some personal stuff in here, but not an awful lot. Uh, I've got my wallet which is this, which obviously I only really use when I'm going out. And I've got my travel journal, which I carry around with me. This is my pop it in my handbag, even when I've only got a small bag with me, this fits. Um, and on top of that, the best thing about this is that I can take notebooks out. So if this is too heavy to carry around, I could take out my long-term notebook, um, or I could just take my written notebook or my sketchbook, depending on what I'm going to do that day, I can pop my money into my, I've got these zip wallets at the back, so I could pop my money and my card in there, and I could just take this instead of taking my wallet and all this, and it would be much thinner and lighter and, you know, again, it's easy to carry. Uh, whereas this, this doesn't even have any written journaling or personal stuff in it, all my personal stuff now is in there, and it's, it's stuffed. <laughs> Um, fortunately, because this is material, it actually does stretch quite a lot. It gives quite a bit. Um, and because this, the outside of it isn't very, it's quite supple, so it bows outwards. So I can stuff this pretty heavily before it starts getting, that I can't close it with one hand. Um, but even so, it makes it really heavy and it's much bigger. Um, this is much more easy to carry in your hand um, although actually my Midori is about as thick at the moment because I've got some stuff in there um, this needs thinning down a little bit um, but as you can probably tell um, I bought just to try them because you know I'm all for making your own stuff but I like to try the nice stuff too uh, so I decided that um, I would see what the written book was like uh, for the Midori, the actual Midori notebook. It's only £4, I'm going to spend that on a moleskin to refill this, so I thought I might as well. Now, this is the thickness of my, let me move that out of the way, this middle one is the thickness of my written journal, and that is 64 pages. This is the thickness of the, currently unused obviously, maybe double the thickness once it's got stuff in it. Um, this is the lightweight paper, which I'll probably use for writing on, uh, and this is 128 pages, so a heck of a difference in thickness. Look at that, look how thick this one is. This is twice as thick for half as much paper. So, yeah, in September I'm going to use this one, and in theory it should last me September, October, so it's actually two months worth. And yeah, it's cheaper to make my own, but if this works out, then it's much, much thinner and it's it actually works out more economical because it's twice as thick. So I'll see, I'll see. I wanted to try it. I wanted to be able to say, well, I tried the Midori notebooks and I kept using them because I really liked them or I went back to my DIY ones because I decided that I, I actually these weren't worth the money. You know, you can't really... I'm not comfortable with saying that I don't want to spend money on these until I've tried one. Um... And I even got, the the lightweight one is actually the one that I'm least likely to enjoy using because it's very thin paper, uh, much, much thinner than the moleskin, and I'm a fountain pen girl. So, you know, it might be that I absolutely detest this and say, no, actually, my inserts are better. I prefer mine. Um, on the other hand, it might be that these are as fabulous as everybody keeps telling me they are, and uh, I will happily spend £2 a month to have one of these that lasts me for two months. Um, we'll see. 
So I'll try that in September because it looks like my notebook's going to last me about a month. So I'm okay with that. So that's my... Yeah, that's my um, setup. I keep I keep feeling like I'm going backwards. Have I gone over this already? I don't know. Anyway, I'll fix it when I edit. Um, yeah, the big one is the upper management. That's the project management system. This is the shop floor or the brains of the operation uh, where, you know, the work happens. Um, this is the finance department. <laughs> <laughs> my wallet and my shopping list and my wish list and all that sort of stuff and then this is my creative director <laughs> no that's me I'm the creative director I suppose this would be the creative department I don't know art department and I'm the creative director I don't know but <laughs> this is where I can do whatever I feel like doing at any time in any way and it's okay um, everything else is quite well organised, but this is just a mishmash of all sorts of things, which is, I need a mishmash of all sorts of things in some places, but in other places I need to be organised. So, yeah, that's my setup. Um, oh, I should have mentioned, actually, um, no, never mind, I'll put that in my file effects video. <laughs> so, um, yeah. That's my setup, two Midoris, two Filofaxes and my art journal, uh, but all for very specific reasons. And it actually is helping me to organise much better. So I will be back later with a video on what each individual one is and what's in it and show you a little bit more about it. Bye.